Hi, it's Lee and welcome to the Tesla Economist. I know we all think 4680s are going to make such an impact and increase Tesla's profit dramatically and take the stock price to a valuation that we think is fair. But despite all that, I still don't think everyone realizes just how profitable 4680 sales really are. In fact, I think they add about four times more profit per kilowatt hour than what Tesla are getting from their LFP sales in Shanghai. Whoa, did I just say four times more profitable? Surely that's a bit of a reach. That's a huge difference. And would mean that once ramped, Tesla would be insanely profitable indeed. So how about we do some numbers and see just how more profitable 4680 sales are than the LFP sales Tesla are using in Shanghai. Well, we just need some numbers then. Actually, relatively simple, I hope. First, let's calculate roughly how much profit per kilowatt hour Tesla generate from the LFP sales in Shanghai. And let's go on the more generous side and take the profit of a rear wheel drive Model Y that currently sells for $42,000. If we take a gross margin of 28%, then it's about $11,700 profit per Model Y. And as they use about a 60 kilowatt hour battery, that would come to a profit of $195 per kilowatt hour. All right, simple enough to follow. Now we need to do the same for the 4680 Model Y from Texas. We have a lot of new advanced manufacturing techniques for cost saving, along with a lower cost battery and a much higher priced vehicle. I mean, it's highly possible that the Model Y in Texas actually costs less to build than the one in Shanghai as a result. And Tesla was selling them for $60,000, not $42,000. If the cost of goods sold was even equal, and that would be an additional $18,000 per vehicle, which would mean a ridiculous 50% margin. That's the math. If Tesla are getting 28% margin in Shanghai, and it costs the same to build a Texas Model Y due to the cost savings of the structural battery pack, front and rear castings, and lower cost sales. Yeah, there's actually an argument that the costs could be even lower than Shanghai, especially with further vertical integration like the cathode factory on site, and eventually a lithium refinery. That does start to get a bit crazy to think how low a cost Tesla can truly get a 4680 Model Y. The thing is though, that I also think that when there is the tax credit that Tesla will raise the prices, along with the sales getting better range. But let's not go too extreme. And let's say a $65,000 price tag. And let's wind that margin all the way down to just 40%. That comes to $26,000 profit per Model Y. But I really think, judging by future cost savings possible from the factory, there could actually be a further $10,000 cost reduction. That is extreme, but there is actually a lithium refinery to come on the site. In fact, we're hearing they're starting construction on a new large building on that site. And it was also rumored that the refinery would start production this quarter and be operational in 2024. Things we need to keep reminding ourselves to see the light on the other side once we pass through this down market. And then the current estimate of the battery size for the 4680 is around 70 kilowatt hours, which means $370 per kilowatt hour. Okay, so way off four times as much, except I said profit, not gross profit. And what if we actually went for operating profit, a far more important profit, one that only Tesla seems capable of achieving positively compared to all other BEV manufacturers? Well, in that case, we would assume about perhaps an 18% operating margin on the Model Y, meaning close to $7,300 operating profit per vehicle, or just $121 per kilowatt hour. As this ramp up for 4680 sales shouldn't really add anything extra to OPEX, the gross profit that we get from the Texas Model Y would equally be the operating profit. So it would actually be more like three times as much operating profit per kilowatt hour. All right, that is a massive amount more profit per kilowatt hour than Shanghai but still not four times as much. Oh wait, there's another little factor. We have the subsidies per kilowatt hour too for the cell and battery production in the US, which is $35 per kilowatt hour of cell production and $10 per kilowatt hour for battery, implying a further $45 profit per kilowatt hour, taking it to $315 profit, or 3.4 times as much profit as LFP. And it doesn't stop there either as FSD adoption rate is about five times higher in the US than in China. And even factoring in deferred revenue, I estimate it to be about $25 more per kilowatt hour. 
now we're at $440. Then other services like insurance, and perhaps after 10 years, that would come to an additional profit of $50 per kilowatt hour, taking us to $490. The 4680 version from Texas will have other software upgrades, possibly extended range, but we've already seen acceleration upgrade. And even at a 20% adoption rate, that could be an additional $15 per kilowatt hour. Then US consumers spend more money on other upgrades like paint and wheels, perhaps a further $15 per kilowatt hour more than the Chinese. There is even likely more income from US drivers using superchargers too. It all adds up. All in all, we might be closer to $500 operating profit per kilowatt hour for a 4680 Model Y than we see from Shanghai. There is one major caveat though. Tesla still need to get their production up first to start hitting these sorts of margins and to start seeing the additional benefits of the economies of scale from ramping up due to the operating leverage Tesla have. I think a run rate of about double volume production at around 40,000 Model Ys a month, which we would need to hit a run rate of 30 gigawatt hours a year for 4680s, which to achieve, we would need to hit a run rate of around 30 gigawatt hours a year for 4680s. Except Texas 4680 factory has a capacity of 100 gigawatt hours and another 10 from Cato Road, compared to about 60 gigawatt hours a year that Shanghai is currently running on. This is a lot more profit to come for the company. It's truly massive and all determined by when they can ramp up the cell production line in Texas. There's also Berlin in addition to this. We already have a base profit for Tesla that is more than ample for all the necessary growth required and then a reasonable amount left over for the likes of share buybacks on top of that. And a lot of the previous profits and capital have been reinvested into technologies that will reduce costs and increase income like 4680 cells and new manufacturing techniques and machines like Giga Castings and massive new factories. Remember, only just over half of the Teslas that are made today even use a rear casting, let alone front and rear or structural packs or in-house batteries. Then the investments in further vertical integration like cathode factories and lithium refineries. There is so much more cost reduction on the way, which adds to profits and provides a larger buffer for potential bad times and allows Tesla to reduce their prices further to increase demand, which has a further effect on economies of scale, etc. Don't take your eye off the prize. Now, in all fairness, you might think me using operating profit is cheating somewhat rather than gross profit per vehicle. And perhaps if we had, then 4680s are possibly only about two and a half times as profitable per vehicle, which is still a big difference. Also bear in mind, that isn't even assuming a lower cost of manufacturing than LFP vehicles, and nor is it assuming that the price will eventually be closer to the long range version, along with possible further price adjustments for the tax credit. But two to three times more profitable per kilowatt hour is a big difference, especially when the production is going to be over twice what we have for LFP, if we also include the capacity in Berlin. And even if it takes Tesla until the end of 2024, for those 4680 lines to hit their capacity, and that is obviously massively profitable. However, using operating profit is probably apt in the way the market thinks, as it's likely thinking linear instead of exponential, as in twice as many sales means about twice as much profit, rather than four times as much profit. So my overall point is that the market is undervaluing Tesla's potential for growth. There are several exponentials at play here, and if Tesla's cell consumption doubled with 4680s, the market may just think earnings will be up more or less double, except due to the operating leverage, it would triple. And then due to the higher profit per kilowatt hour from 4680s, it will quadruple. But just for some quick back of the napkin math, if each kilowatt hour of 4680 is worth $450 additional operating profit, and Texas and Berlin combined, hit 150 gigawatt hour annual run rate, then that's actually an additional $67.5 billion in operating profit. Okay, Berlin doesn't have tax credits or subsidies and FSD take rate may not be as high, so perhaps we can wind that down to just $60 billion. The trading 12 months operating profit currently is just over $12 billion, which would actually mean this generates six times more operating profit than the last 12 months once they hit this capacity. Wow, 
it's actually possible that Tesla's operating profit could increase sixfold from what the current past 12 months have been as soon as these lines are ramped. Well, actually, no. That's just what the 4680s can do. Energy should also start making significant contributions. And do you really think Tesla will stop expanding LFP models? Let's not forget just how much potential is left with this company. This is why it's so tough to trade Tesla as a stock or wait for the dip. This is what I tried and sold up about $300,000 of leaps in order to potentially buy them on a crash. The stock price was around 1100 to 1150 when I sold and I couldn't help buying again when they were below 800 pre-split prices. And the lowest I got with stock was about $650 before I exhausted the funds I felt comfortable using. You may feel frustrated that you bought higher and it crashed lower, but I'm almost certain the remorse of not buying at all when it starts to run is much worse than overpaying by 20 or 30%. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon.